Jeremy, another appliance in GNS3 are QMU appliances, and this seems to be the future and seems to be the recommendation. So could you tell us, is that true? And you know, what, what are QMU devices? So QMU is a emulator. Yep. So now most of the, the modern appliances uh, run on QMU. So all the, for instance, all the viral uh, images, uh, they, they run on QMU. So I mean, there's a whole bunch of these, and we're like using ASAV, uh, NXOSV, XRV, all the all the virtual appliances from Cisco from Viral. Uh, they need QMU to to work. And you recommend like if you want a router image, you should use iOS V. If you want to switch iOS V L2, a firewall ASAV, and then like Nexus Nexus Nexus, OS. Uh, Nexus OSV. Yeah. But all of this comes from from Viral. From Viral. Yes. Um, but is it is QMU only viral or is it other? No, it's also many other vendors like uh, Juniper. So the Junos devices, like the VMX appliance, I think. SRX and those kind of SRX, devices. SRX. Uh, they have also like vendors like Fortinet. They yep. have uh, appliances that work on QMU. And Cumulus, all those. Cumulus guys, yeah. to all the Linux uh, based guys. They they have uh, appliances that run on QMU. So the future is QMU. The future is QMU, yes. For these big devices yes. from vendors. Yeah. yeah. So Dynamips is the past. The Dynamips is the past. Future it was only QMU. Cisco, Cisco yeah. uh, only. So the, and mm. then the future would be QMU devices. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to wrap it in here because it causes a lot of confusion. How is this different to IOU devices? So IOU is a is a Cisco only product. Yep. It's only for Cisco employees, and you need a license to use it. So you have to download a license or get it somewhere and install it. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, the the big problem here is it's for Cisco employees it's only. For Cisco employees only, uh, it's not distributed by Cisco. It's not a public distribution. It's not a pu public distribution. We just support it, but it's it's uh, it's up to our users to to uh, provide IOU IOU images. And it's the same here. So I mean, th the question I always get is, how do I get these images? So if they want these Cisco images, they need to buy a viral license. Yes. Um, and then they would download the images and then they'd be able to import them into GNS3. Yep. So this is the recommended route. This is a recommended way, the legal way to, to do it. Uh, we know some of our users can, can find the images on internet. But it's not recommended. Uh, but it's not, we, we don't recommend that. We, we're just providing the platform to run those images. Uh, we don't really check where you find those images. Yeah, I mean, just to say, reiterate this, it's not our responsibility to make sure that you're legally compliant. Uh, GNS3 provides this framework, but you've got to make sure that you're doing things right. Yeah. So Jeremy, I've seen this a lot. When I download an appliance from the GNS3 marketplace, like I go into, sorry, I go into GNS3's website mm -hmm. and I go to the marketplace appliances and I download an appliance. A lot of those appliances are QMU appliances, aren't they? Yes. Do QMU appliances or can QMU appliances run on a local installation? So like if I'm running Windows, mm -hmm. can they run locally or do they have to run in the VM? No, most of them uh, have to run in a VM. Uh, however, like from version 2.2, yep. uh, we support a technology called HAXM. HAXM, yeah. Which, what is that? Which uh, this is basically a uh, nested uh, virtualization support on Windows. Like for QMU. So in theory, you could run QMU directly on Windows. Yes. In theory, however, like, for instance, I tried like iOS V. Uh, it doesn't work. So it's more like experimental. Uh, but you can definitely run like Linux in QMU on Windows using this technology. Uh, so, so this is a new thing from 2.2? This is a new thing, yes. Okay. So in the future, would the way to do things be running it locally or do you see it, everything going to the VM? I think I would still recommend the, the VM. Yeah. Uh, because this is, as I said, this is experimental uh, and it may or may not improve. Like maybe someday we can run iOS V directly uh, on Windows. Uh, but I think the safest uh, 
ways to assume you will have to use a VM, the Gen3 VM. That's great. So, I mean, just to reiterate for everyone's benefit, QMU devices are the way of the future. Uh, specifically with Cisco would be viral images. Yeah. Great. So, Jeremy, just before we cut off this, let's talk about this device. Because the one that seems to still cause a lot of issues or a lot of questions is this. Guys want to run ASA 8. Yes. So Do you recommend that? No, we don't recommend this because uh, it's unstable. Uh, lots of our, our users uh, run into issues trying to run ASA 8. It may work, it may not work. Uh, there's uh, infinite loops. Uh, it's uh, it crash. Uh, so we, we re recommend uh, ASA V because uh, ASA V is a lot more stable. It's more uh, recent image. Uh, so yes, go for ASAV uh, when you want to run ASA uh, firewalls. Yeah, so Cisco ASAV is the is the way that you should do it. Any kind of firewall, forget about this. Yeah, we, yeah forget about ASA 8. Will you remove it from GNS3? Uh, I think we'll keep it there uh, because I know some users want to run something like called multi-context. Yeah, multi-context, yeah. And uh, only ASA 8 support multi-context. this doesn't, yeah. It, it doesn't, no. At the moment, yeah. At the moment, yeah. Okay, so not recommended. Yes. But again, like you said, with other technologies, use at your own risk. Yes. But you can't help them. No, we, we can't support the ASA 8. It's too, uh, too many problems. Too many issues. Too right. many issues, yeah. Keep your